hi guys welcome back to uncut with uju thank you so much for clicking on my video so in today's video an intentional well-educated young man took his time to explain why ghana is created differently as in and as a nigerian this made me to love ghana even the most ever since i started creating ghana content you guys things i found out about ghana changed my narratives about how i see ghana and how i relate with Ghanaians. so everything he said shocked me to be very honest and i can tell you guys for free that some of the things he said are quite similar to the way nigerians behave even though we still have our differences i'm going to quickly let this video roll you guys watch this video to the end to find out how he narrated everything and to be very honest with you guys this will make you to love ghana even the most Ghanaians don't play with greetings. Ghanaians love to greet. In fact, Ghanaians find it offensive if you walk past them without greeting. If it's good morning, just say good morning. The Ghanaian can call you back because you walk past him without greeting. Say, why didn't you greet me? They don't ask you. That's number one. Ghanaians like the word please. We add the word please to everything. Everything, and I mean everything. If they want to collect something, please, can I get this? If they want to buy this, can I get, please, can I get this? Even if the Ghanaian want to insult you, you add please to him. They will say, please, they will say, please, meaning please, are you a fool? That means, please, are you a, a fool? Ghanaian will say that they add please to everything. Um, number three, the left hand. The left hand, this hand. Ghanaians hate this hand. It, purpose, it doesn't add up to anything. You cannot give a Ghanaian with the left hand. And even if it's a gift, if you are giving the person, even if the person is sitting on the street begging, you can't give money to the person with your left hand. They will not collect it. Or you give somebody, wave, you wave at somebody with your left hand. The Ghanaian take it as an insult. We don't like the right left hand. Even if your hand is occupied with something, you must change the thing to that hand before you give. Use the left hand to greet. Or you shake somebody with the left hand. It's a no, no, don't do it. Ghanaian will think you are disrespectful. It is a disrespectful hand. We don't use it for anything. Even to some extent that, I don't know, in the northern part, if you are a left-handed person, you are not allowed. Some parts, I cannot just say every part, but where I was born, you, if you are a left hand, you are disqualified to become a chief. You can't become a king being a left-handed person, even if you are from the royal family. So the left hand is a no-no. It's used for a particular purpose, and that's it. We don't use the left hand for anything. Even to eat with your left hand, there was somebody, an elderly person can slap you for eating with your left hand in front of him. It's no, it's a no-no. We don't eat anything with the left hand. We don't use it. We don't use the left hand. Um, number four. Before I continue with the video, let me just drop something here. Left hand, when it comes to use of left hand in Nigeria, an elderly person can slap you because you decided to hand over something to her or him using your left hand. Like, it is that as a taboo. I'm actually glad people have started losing up. When it comes to Nigeria now, people can now, you know, they, they'll be like, oh yeah, give me, give me the money. Left hand is hand. But while growing up, you dare not try it. You dare not, you can't give your mom something using left hand. Like, it's the highest insult you can give to an elderly person. Even a younger one. So most times, people that are left-handed, I don't even know how they cope. But I'm glad that narratives and people have started, like, changing. Like, right now, even if your child is a left-handed person, the person is still allowed to socialize with people, you know, freely, without feeling any certain way. Let's just continue with the video. And well, Ghanaians, we are very religious. So when you go to Ghana, you will find churches everywhere. There's a church at every corner. And that's Ghana for you. We have churches everywhere. That's Ghana for you. Um, number five, Ghanaians, we name children, like when you are newly born babies, we name them first. Your first name is called based on the day you were born. So if you are born on Friday, they'll call you Friday in the language, local language. And that's how we name our people. You can grow up to change the name or add your name to it, but that's your first name. You can also keep that name till you die and be in your document. That's Ghanaian for you. Ghanaians, we like giving. Number six, Ghanaians like giving. Ghanaians can give you whatever they have just give you Ghanaians are very generous like Ghanaians can, can just tell you let me pay this this is your bill for you we can do we, we like giving but you must say thank you when they give you something you must say thank you a Ghanaian can give you something and you collect the thing but it, because you do say thank you you call it back and collect it back so they'll give you willingly but say thank you appreciate the giving Ghanaians like giving Ghanaians are religious tolerant like Ghanaians if you go to Ghana, you see Muslims, you see Christians, you see the traditionalists. We are like this together. 
when it's Christmas, you will not know who is a Christian or who is a Muslim. We, they are, we, we party together. When it's Salah time, we party together. When it's our cultural like festivals, we can to love our festivals. So you can be a pastor, but the place you were born, if they are celebrating their festival, you will be among them like you celebrated the traditional way. Because Ghanaians believe that before Christianity and uh, Islamic came to Ghana, we were already having our traditional beliefs. So we thought our forefathers fought for us. They fought for independence. They fought during the Asian days. So Christianity and Islamic cannot come and change us. So if you are coming, you're coming to act. We respect you. We respect that. So when it's festival time, no matter how we dress, whether you're a Christian or Muslim, you have to be part of it because that's how you were born before the Bible and the Quran. So that's Ghana for you. Yes, when you go to Ghana, you see billboards everywhere. Ghanaians have billboards for everything. Ghanaians, like a church, will have a very big, big billboard. Even a funeral, they will put a billboard. Somebody can just put a billboard just because they're going to name their child's uh, a naming ceremony or their mother died. We celebrate the death. Like, it's going to be a very huge festival, a, a funeral. That's Ghanaians for you. We celebrate the death. So, we, they build, they plant billboards along the route everywhere. And the last one, when you go to Ghana, be ready. Your ears go hear something. Ghanaians blow the car horn in everything. Like when you're on the seat, you hear ping, 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 ping. everybody blow horns for everything. As a Nigerian, I can relate to everything he said because to be very honest with you guys, we have more of similarities than differences. I was able to pick out two differences, like how Nigerians react, as in how Nigerians behave generally to what he said. But we have a lot of similarities. Like when you talk about honing, Nigerians can blow horn. Like you can literally want to talk to your neighbor and the best way to do that is to horn, to blow your horn. We can be on traffic, you are driving and you are blowing horn for nothing. That is how a typical Nigerian communicates. Like most times they will just want to bust your eardrums. Another thing is that you can come to a building in Nigeria and two apartments are churches. Maybe one is cool. <laughs> the other one will be make, you know, with loudspeakers. The other one will be shouting, singing the other side. The other one will be praying. I mean, in the same building, speakers everywhere. Okay, when you talk about left hand, it's a taboo in Nigeria to give things with left hand. Even though now people are becoming a bit soft, okay? Before, oh my God, you can't do that. They, they, yeah, in short, an elderly person can give you data slab simply because you handed over things with your, your left hand. Let me quickly address two differences. One is we don't really name according to the days of the... We don't name children according to the day they were born. Okay, even though some people, for me, I think it's more of an individual thing because we have people like Monday here, Friday and Sunday. These are three names we have and in English because according to him, he said the name uh, with their native language. But in Nigeria, we don't do that. We hardly name, you know, name children on the days that we are born. The, the, the second difference is, is that when it comes to burial, Nigerians don't really prepare much on burials, except if we are so buoyant like if you have excess money we have the likes of kubana chief uh kuban obi kubana when he buried his mom he went extra okay yeah we have people like that but there are few a typical person average nigerian will rather spend money on wedding child dedication than spending so much on burial even though we feel that anytime you bury people people properly it's more like you're giving that person respect but people mourn more than burial like you know some some people can actually go go for burials they won't eat they'll be so sober and all that unlike playing music trying to like have fun and enjoy them i don't know if I, that makes sense so in nigeria an average nigerian let me just give you an example we prefer to spend money on weddings and ceremony like uh, big days housewarming than spending money on burial that's it so most times people give befitting burial because of the love they have for the dead and also just because they want to wipe shame out of their family and out of their friends it's not just like they really want to okay yeah but every other thing he said are true when it comes to billboard we do billboards, billboards but not like that okay no we don't really do much of the billboards let me know the one that shocked you but to be very honest everything he said made me feel that 
or understand the fact that we are one Africa. See, Nigeria, Ghana, we are almost the same because everything is said are the same. We have almost the same blood running in us. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know the one that shocked you the most as a Nigerian or as a Ghanaian watching. In the meantime, if you're here to subscribe, smash that subscribe button, share my videos so it gets to reach wider audience. I love you guys and I don't take your love for granted. I will see you all in my next video. Stay happy, be kind and be blessed. Bye!